Today we're going to hang one of our bench style swings using rope clips. All you need are the rope clip, the swing, and a crescent wrench. So rope clips work great if you have a fairly level branch. If you don't have a level branch and you're hanging a bench style swing, you probably want to consider using our hanging straps. Those are going to work better and give you a more level pivot point so that your swing swings straight. All right, to get started, you're gonna take one side of the swing rope and you're gonna put it around your branch at least three times. If you've got excess rope and you wanna do it a couple more additional times, that's fine, but you need to do it at least three times. Once you've looped around the branch three times, you wanna take the end of the rope, pull it through the underside of your loops, pull it down and it'll tighten itself up. Now, the easiest way to do this is to put the swing on the ground and then to pull the rope up until your swing seat is right about at the level that you want it to be. Um, and then just a little bit higher because as you tighten up that knot and the, the loops that you put around the branch, it is the swing seat's gonna go down just a little bit. So just bring it up a little bit higher than where you want it to end up at. So once you've got that done, you're gonna go over to the other side and you're gonna do exactly the same thing. Again, you're gonna pull the rope until the seat is about the height that you want it to be off the ground so it's level with the other side, and then pull it up a little bit more. Cause again, as you tighten those loops, it's gonna go down just a little bit. So again, you're gonna wrap it around the branch three times or however many times you did on the other, on the other side. And then you're gonna slip the end of the rope through the loops and tighten it up. Next, you're gonna take your rope clip and you're gonna loosen the bolts on both sides. Take them all the way off. Once you've got them all the way off, you can take the U and you can put it on to both of the ropes so that it goes around both ropes. Then put the receiving end back on and hand tighten your nuts until you can't get them any tighter by hand. Then using a crescent wrench, you're gonna tighten the bolts as far as you possibly can. Take them all the way to the end of the threads. Um, the rope's gonna squish down. You're really not gonna be able to over tighten this. So I encourage you to tighten it all the way up. And then you're gonna do exactly the same thing on the other side. Take the bolts off your rope clip, put the U around both ropes, slide the receiving end back on, and tighten your bolts and then tighten them all the way to the end of the threads with a crescent wrench. Next up, you're gonna take some masking tape and a branch cutter or a really stout utility scissor. You're gonna wrap the rope where you wanna cut off the excess. This will stop it from fraying and then just use a branch cutter and snip it off. So I really encourage you to double check once you've taped it off um, where you want to cut it. Double check and make sure that uh, you're actually cutting the excess rope and not the rope uh, that actually holds the swing up. I've done that before. Now your swing is up and ready to swing. Um, I do encourage you to take a look at your hanging hardware, any knots that you've tied uh, multiple times a year. Uh, just to make sure that everything continues to be safe. Thanks so much, guys. Appreciate you watching the video and for purchasing one of our swings. Uh, I hope you and your family enjoy it as much as my family and I have.
Take care.